Peace, brothers and sisters, by the Lord's grace upon us, we are bringing forth the Bible, the word of truth. What we are reading from is the actual Bible, the 1611 King James Virgin Bible, which is the actual book of the Lord that contains all of the books. So diligently hearken to the scriptures that are being brought forth by the Lord's Spirit. Because we are in the last days, and as it is written in the Bible, many shall perish. In Luke chapter 13, verse 5, I tell you, nay, but except ye repent, ye shall all likewise perish. The Lord is bringing forth forth his judgments in many ways, such as wildfires, hurricanes, earthquakes, wars, pestilence such as COVID, illness, and violence. A good scripture in the Bible where the almighty creator of heaven and earth let us know that he would visit us, which means to judge us, by these natural disasters is Isaiah chapter 29, verse 6. Therefore, when you see powerful prophecies being fulfilled, such as the hurricane blasphemously called Ian, that destroyed the cities in West Florida, especially Fort Myers Beach, by the Lord's judgment, as he said he will, then realize these are the signs of the times as well. Look how omnipotent and almighty God really is that brought forth this destructive hurricane. Millions were left without power after the Lord's mighty winds and judgments. The same disastrous hurricane brought forth more judgments by the Lord to South Carolina. And furthermore, a substantial amount of people drowned and were killed due to the powerful storm surge that was as high as 18 feet in some areas in Florida. And not to mention, this hurricane is reported as the most costly storm of all time that impacted Florida. The last estimated cost of damage was over $80 billion. The destruction was devastated and the economic cost was even more devastating than the hurricane blasphemously known as Andrew. So that is why we have to fear the Lord in his judgment. And we are still abiding in his mercy because many people did not die. So repent and stop breaking the commandments, my beloved brothers and sisters. By truly hearing and doing the word, the Bible, and pray for the Lord's mercy and grace daily through our Messiah, the biblical Jesus Christ, as it is written in the Bible. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 13, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 30 and 31, James chapter 1, verse 22 and many more powerful scriptures. Peace and take heed.